said lo-fi. Me and my friends are not the type of people to ignore the smallest problem concealed within the depths of the smallest church mouse. I try to hide my emotions, but they're just live animals hopelessly attempting to hide in a clear glass house. I can't let them out or even let them change somehow, and that's all I can tell you right now because I can't tell you everything I want you to know, although for some reason I trust you, but I'm not ready to let love show. I spent the last few years chasing my desires, and in the end I found out that I was just chasing my own demons. When I found desire in you, you called it infatuation, but I just thought of it as poor pathetic displays of unconditional love and support, simple execution of a spoken prophecy that I chose to ignore. But it ended up consuming my body like a black hole in space and time. Me and my friends were not the type of people to care about whether or not there's room for error, but I make enough errors to leave an empty room in my light bulb heart, and with no one to flip the light switch on, my heart lives in the dark. I will hide the light until you ask for it to ignite, because the truth is bright but hidden in plain sight. It's a pathetic tr tr truth that you chose to ignore. Deep within the pools of your eyes, the deep secrets you told me are cold as ice but sharp as a knife. It fuels this feeling of pitch black heavy vibes hidden deep inside my dark feeling that I'm just depression's trophy wife. A sight to exemplify surviving the night, cause me and my friends, we, try we never try to get in trouble, but we are a troubled bunch. Hope lies within our potential, deep within the rubble and baggage carried by our hearts hoping that light will touch. We talk about our hopes and dreams, but all they are is a blatant placement of words only that only have purpose if you strike a match and ignite them. And there you go, we solved the problem for darkness and disaster, but reinstated a purpose of hatred and exhaustion deep within the deep desires we developed to envelop the cyclical deep desires of desiring deep connection to add depth and the thick to the thick and rough skin of our emptiness. Some are satisfied with their instinct to survive through the storm of darkness and pain. Others call it selfishness, but me and my friends, we don't subscribe to the cloud of confusion found in questioning what turns the lights on. No, we never asked. Me and my my friends, we see the light on and try to celebrate regardless of if it's for the smallest accomplishment because one day sober is better than a hundred days high and one shed tear is better than drowning in my emotions. Give it up for the poet, y'all. So just a reminder, our next slam will be in September, September 16th, our season kickoff with our feature Bobby Wilson, who's an amazing poet slash muralist. So please